Aloha and welcome to the East Oahu Realty Report 2014 Year in Review. If we look at the big picture, we can see that house prices in the United States rose 4.5% from the third quarter of 2013 to the third quarter of 2014. Nevada led the nation with double-digit price appreciation, while Hawaii and California were a close second and third with just over 8% appreciation. The city and county of Honolulu is up about 6% year over year and remains strong in price appreciation. Honolulu is ranked 101st in the nation after cities like number one, Vallejo Fairfield, California, and number two, Naples, Immokalee, Marco Island in Florida, both up about 18%. If we look at the nation's financial stress index in the fourth quarter, it is at negative 0.86 points. You can see we are down from the index's high of over six points, during the last recession highlighted in red. In December, there was no clear trend in supply indicators from active and new listings to month supply. However, month supply of inventory on the market remains around three months for both categories and is still considered a seller's market. When home inventory is around three months historically, this corresponds with double digit price appreciation. In 2014, closing volume was down slightly about 1% for both single-family homes and condominiums. Over time, we can see the peak and trough pattern that demand follows. If we overlay month's supply on this demand chart, we can see the inverse relationship between supply and demand over the last 27 years. Currently, supply is decreasing and demand is increasing. The effect of this low supply and increasing demand is likely what is putting upward pressure on median sales price. In 2014, prices rose about 4% for single-family homes and 5% for condominiums year over year. Projections over the next two years could reach as high as $850,000 for single-family homes and $450,000 for condominiums. Pending sales in 2014 were up 5% for single-family homes and 10% for condominiums. Days on market is a good measure of market velocity or how quickly homes are selling. In 2014, market velocity decreased and it took more time to sell property. Single-family homes were up about 5%, while condominiums were up 14% year over year. In 2014, homeowners realized about 98% of their asking price for both categories. This was down 2% for single-family homes and unchanged for condominiums. Looking at Hawaii's employment by sector over the last four years, we see government, education, and healthcare employment remaining firm. Hospitality and professional services are turning up, while trade and transport, financial and construction employment are stabilizing. In this chart, we can see the amount of real estate loans relative to total bank assets over the last 40 years. This indicates bank exposure to real estate purchases. Too low of a number is negative and too high can indicate a bubble. We are currently at 24%. This is off 11 points from the ratio's high of 35% in the peak of the market in 2006. The line in the graph represents an index that tracks Hawaii's economic activity. We can see the last five U.S. recessions highlighted in red. Since the spring of 2010, the index has recovered 9.17 points. In December, visitor arrivals were up 4.33% year over year. Visitor days nearly reached 68 million through November 2014. This was up three-tenths of a percent compared to the same period last year. Through November 2014, visitor spending topped $13.3 billion. This is up just over 2% year over year. In summary, for 2014, 
Prices were up for both categories and supplies remain low. Market velocity slows as the amount of time for homeowners to sell property increases and there is a continued stabilizing of Hawaii's economy. The neighborhood of the year is Ala Moana Kaka'ako Condominiums. Demand continues to be up. There were 447 closed sales in 2014. This is an increase of 4%. Market velocity continues to be high at 29 days on market. This high demand and market velocity in Ala Moana Kaka'ako in 2014 may have caused its median price to rise 36% for condominiums. If we look at Ala Moana Kaka'ako using the seasonal buying patterns chart, we can see that over the past three years, the most closings have occurred in the months of March and April. 120 closings have occurred in each of these months. If we assume an average closing time of 45 to 60 days, these units went into escrow in January and February. Therefore, January and February would be the best time periods to list units in Ala Moana and Kaka'ako. Conversely, by the same logic, a buyer could expect the lowest competition in the months of November and December. These numbers earn Ala Moana Kaka'ako Condominiums the neighborhood of the year. With the help of a proven professional, you can navigate this often confusing and difficult process with ease. When you work with East Oahu Realty, you work with a team of knowledgeable and experienced professionals equipped with special expertise. Thank you for watching, and until next quarter, aloha. Oh, <laughs>